gunned down in broad daylight. Denis Voronenkov, a critic of Vladimir Putin, killed today in Ukraine's capital, Kiev. His horrified wife has to identify his body on the street. Voronenkov was a former Russian lawmaker who fled to Ukraine last year. Ukraine's president says his murder is, quote, an act of Russian state terrorism. A Ukrainian prosecutor calls this an execution of a witness. When he gets to Ukraine, he begins to give evidence about the Russian connection to former Ukrainian President Yanukovych and possibly the Russian invasion of Crimea and annexation. In an interview last month, Voronenkov said he wasn't worried for his safety. I believe that whatever will happen, will happen. I don't intend to hide. Earlier this week, another man, inconvenient to Vladimir Putin, fell four floors from his Moscow apartment and was badly injured. It's not clear tonight if attorney Nikolai Gorokov fell accidentally or was pushed. Russian news outlets say he fell while helping movers carry a hot tub to his apartment. I think that, that um, foul play was involved. Bill Browder is a financier who ran the largest hedge fund in Russia. He was the boss of a Russian whistleblower named Sergei Magnitsky. Magnitsky died in Russian custody in 2009 after uncovering a massive fraud which he and Browder alleged Russian officials committed against their firm. The victim of the fall, Nikolai Gorokov, had represented Magnitsky. He was going to show up in Moscow court with a bunch of new evidence which, which consisted of emails and WhatsApp uh, messages showing that Russian organized criminals were communicating directly with the Russian police um, to try to cover up the murder of Sergei Magnitsky and cover up the, co the corruption crime that Sergei had exposed. The Russian Federation and yet another Putin critic who's had some bad luck in recent Russian weeks. Standard. Vladimir Karamurza was in a coma last month, then came out of it. The second time in two years he'd fallen into a coma after a suspected poisoning. Kara Mirza is an activist who's called for more open elections in Russia. I think what's not coincidental is that all of these folks are swimming in very dangerous shark-infested waters. The message is out. Uh, if you are going to oppose uh, very powerful interests in and around Russia, you're going to get hurt or you may get killed. In 2015, prominent Putin critic Boris Nemtsov was shot in the back, just steps away from the Kremlin. How does Putin escape blame? could be a nod of, you know, get him, and then there are layers and layers and layers, and there's no specific order or a time or any kind of crushing evidence that links him. 